Hello, my Leos. Leo, 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 Leo. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for tuning in. Um, please understand this is a general reading. So let's take what we need for our own situation. Leave the rest for somebody else. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the like button on this video, Leo. Thank you guys so much. So let's see who the freak, why the freak, what is this, you know, what do they want from my Leos at this point in time? You know, what is coming towards you at this point in time in love, okay? Leo may be connected to a Libra or someone who has Libra in their moon, rising, or their Venus. All right. This does apply to Leo, someone rising in Venus. Uh, you know, if you're connected to a Leo, whatever I'm saying could be playing out from your perspective. So please keep an open mind. What is coming to Leo in love? Leo, what is coming to Leo in love? Leo. You know, it's so crazy because everybody has a choice to make. Like all the readings that I've been doing has something to do with a choice for the fire sign. I mean, all right. Will of Fortune, Chariot, maybe connected to a Cancer. What is coming to Leo in love? Leo. What's in the energies? What is coming to Leo in love? Okay. So you have the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Wands. What is coming to Leo in love? Leo. Leo. Leo, this does not look too good here, okay? I feel like you could be connected to, um, we have Cancer, Aries, Virgo, Gemini, possibly an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But what I'm feeling here, Leo, okay, is that you got somebody who, you know, some freak is definitely uh, very hot here, right? But I feel like you are paranoid with when it comes to this person. Um, you're trying to figure out what their intentions are, um, you know, why are they coming towards you and things like that, Leo. I think you're at the crossroads at this point of trying to figure out if you should move forward from this freak or not. Um, maybe it's because you don't know their intentions, okay? Maybe you've been kind of confused on what exactly this person wants from you. Because when it's hot, it's hot, all right? What is coming to Leo in love within the energies, Leo? Okay, so major, major red flag here, Leo. You have unavailable. This person is unavailable to give you what you deserve. And warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. So whoever this person is, okay, this is someone who at the heart of the spread has a player tendency, Leo, okay? Um, I feel like th this person could be a little bit forceful with the way they go about trying to get their way with you at times. Um, it's kind of what I feel with this freak. And I feel like they're very charming. They always know just exactly what to say. And I feel like this is someone who is going to come and try to work their magic on you, Leo. They will, okay? Um, some of you have been hoping for a change with whoever this person is, okay? So if this is your reading, uh, this person is not going to be changing anytime soon. This is someone who's probably pretty unpredictable, okay? Which is probably what, what exactly led you to question their motives. You have the Page of Swords. This freak could be asking about you, you know, looking you up online, watching you, whatever the case may be. But I feel like this is someone who's kind of selfish. They're all for self, okay, with the Five of Swords. This is somebody who's coming in to, to fulfill their own desires, whatever it is that they want. So I feel like, Leo, you're trying to make a decision about this, this freak. And at this point, the best decision is to release this person and to move forward from this person, okay? Um, by the end of the day, you know, if free will, you don't have to if you don't want to. Unless you want some fun in the sun, Leo. But um, other than that, I think the final judgment call is to kind of you know, get away from this person. And uh, I'm hearing for some of you, this person could be very dramatic as well. Okay. Um, it, it's been very difficult dealing with this person. It's stressful. You feel like, you know, everything is all on you. Okay. Um, some of you, I'm hearing someone is contemplating moving away. Some of you want to move away from uh, a, a partner. If you're in a relationship with this person, maybe you guys live together. This person is obviously, you know, still has some wild oats to sow or something like that, which is probably why you want to get away from this freak. Okay. What is the two of wands for Leo in love? Two of wands for Leo in love. I feel like it could be a cancer, but I mean, you really do love this person. You still have feelings for them, um, but you have to be careful, Leo, because you could be seeing this freak from uh, with, you know, rose colored glasses um, and you can love someone, but love isn't enough all the time, you know? 
ace of pentacles in reverse i feel like this is not really a grounded uh connection or something that you know really has that true potential to 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 you know stabilize into what you want it to be okay this person's very unpredictable so you're really about to get in this this car here in the nearest plane the nearest truck okay leo and you're getting the freak out of there if you have not already then you should okay the chariot for leo and love the chariot you're leaving this person alone, all the way alone. Some of you are making a, a, a major decision to leave a relationship to, to let go of this person. Uh, it could be a Gemini. You're trying to leave a Gemini in the past. Um, you're trying to close out this cycle. Some of you have been in this cycle for quite some time with this freak. Um, I hear that this person's probably very uh, verbally abusive sometimes if they don't get their way. Um, Queen of Swords reverse, I kind of also feel like, you know, this person may have tried to manipulate you with their words or say, you know, but, okay. Five of Swords for Leo in love. Five of Swords for Leo in love. So, you know, you definitely need to watch out with this person because I, I think for the most part, Leo, you've already realized who you're dealing with, who this person is. You, you probably already know, okay, guys? Um, what is a magician for Leo in love? Magician. But just understand, they're about to do this. They're about to see King. When the King of Swords, Queen of Swords, in the reverse, not good because it, this is someone who knows how to, what to say, how to, uh, you know, word their words and things like that. They're very good at manipulation, um, especially mind games. So this is someone who maybe you know you probably even felt like they were leading you on in some way, shape, or form, and they were okay. A lot of mind games were being played with this particular freak, okay. But now at this point, I feel like you're in this energy to where you feel like you deserve better, Leo. Um, Page of Swords for Leo in love. Uh, for some of you, this person may be, be upset, Leo. I'm hearing that this freak is upset, okay? They may, you know, want to give you a piece of their mind because you're leaving them or you're trying to get away from them and they don't like that. See, you're trying to, um, look how this freak is coming after. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. This person could be very like mean or, um, I don't know. It's like they, they can say nasty things to you if they don't get their way. So I think you're making the right decision by doing this, Leo, by, um, you know, leaving this freak where they belong, which is, um, far away from you, right? Some of you may be headed towards new love, um, which is very, very good. What else for Leo in this love situation? What else for Leo? The Nine of Wands. I mean, this freak has bruised you uh, enough, okay? The Five of Coins, Leo. The five of Wands. I mean, this person's going to put up a fight, Leo. They're going to put up a fight, okay? And the Two of Cups. Some of you, I'm hearing that, you know, this person may see you connecting with someone else and they'll try to, like, distract you or, you know, try to just... Uh, just blur things for you to make you feel you know to just kind of doubt your new connection and stuff like that but don't do that leo do not do that all right anything else for leo please that we need to know Ooh, some of you this freak is you know supposedly a mature man but they're very immature okay what else for leo you have courting man so they're going to try to court you leo but I feel like it's it's not something you can trust, okay? And then you have open relationship, no commitment, casual, and openness. So this is someone who's only looking for something casual, Leo. You have home, so maybe you live together. This is your sign that this person is a freak. And you have a twin flame, even if they are a twin flame, I don't care what flame they are, a fire flame, okay? <laughs> fire flame, flame, fire flame. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Leo, okay? It does not matter. So, you know, point of the matter is this is somebody who, um, you know, this is someone who's pretty much out for self. Um, they're, they're still keeping tabs on you. You know, they're, they, they're still watching you, but they may be surprised when you do this. Okay. They may be surprised when you actually say no, when you actually put them in their place. Okay. I do feel that way. They're, they're not going to expect that. Leo, um, they are going to try to put up a fight. It's like, this is some type of freak who wants their way at any cost. You can have a child with this person, your child's father, your child's mother, doesn't matter guys. Okay. Um, same, same deal, same deal guys. Okay. They want an open relationship. They could even be involved in messing around. So you have single man, single woman. 
okay? But you're, you're healing. Some of you are recently single because you found out your partner is a player, okay? And they were still kind of, you know, out here testing the waters and exploring other people and stuff, okay? You have far from average. This freak watches your every move. You deserve better than me, which obviously you do. Um, you're out of my league, okay? Well, good. <laughs> good. You're supposed to be out. So this freak is leading you on and playing games, Leo, okay? You are heavily guarded, or you will be, and you should be, okay? Because this person doesn't have anything good to say. And you have, I left them and infatuated, okay? So there probably was a whole lot of infatuation, you know, not seeing the person clearly. But if this person is as good as a manipulator as I'm seeing, then, hey, I don't, I really don't blame you, Leo. Anyway, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and got the clarity that you needed from um, your situation at this time. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon.